Imagine a world where a simple paper cut could kill you. Where surgeries were a life or death gamble, not because of the procedure, but because of the infection that followed. This was reality for all of human history, until one messy scientist, a bit of mold, and a lucky accident changed everything. This is the story of penicillin. The year is 1928, in a cluttered London lab, a Scottish bacteriologist named Alexander Fleming returns from vacation to find his workbench in its usual state of disarray. He'd been studying Staphylococci, one of the deadliest bacteria of his time. As he sorted through a stack of Petri dishes, he noticed something strange on one of them. A fuzzy greenish mold had grown on the plate. Now any other researcher would have tossed it out. Contamination was just part of the job. But Fleming saw something else. A perfect circle around the mold, the deadly bacteria had been completely wiped out. It was as if a tiny invisible army was fighting back. Fleming identified the mold as a species of penicillium. The substance it was producing, which he named penicillin, was a bacterial assassin. He found it could kill a wide range of harmful microbes while being remarkably safe for human cells. This was the holy grail of medicine. But there was a problem. Fleming was a bacteriologist, not a chemist. He couldn't figure out how to produce a pure, stable, and concentrated form of this wonder drug. For nearly a decade, his groundbreaking discovery remained little more than a scientific curiosity. Then, World War II broke out. The need for a weapon against infection became desperately urgent. A team of scientists at Oxford, led by Howard Florey and Ernst Chain, dusted off Fleming's research. Through sheer determination, they succeeded where Fleming couldn't. They purified penicillin, tested it, and proved its incredible power to save lives. The impact was immediate and revolutionary. Penicillin turned the tide of modern medicine. It made surgery safer, saved countless soldiers, and transformed once fatal illnesses like pneumonia and scarlet fever into treatable conditions. Organ transplants, chemotherapy, and intensive care, none of these would be possible without antibiotics, the medical era that penicillin single-handedly launched. From a forgotten Petri dish to the cornerstone of modern medicine, penicillin's story is a powerful reminder that sometimes, the greatest breakthroughs come not from a grand plan, but from a curious mind that refuses to look away. Thanks for watching.